All right, welcome back, everybody. We're gonna try to figure this out because I'm, oh, dang. I'm a little confused as to what's going on. I'm confused, what a shocker. Oh, wait, time it. My laptop can only take so much. That's what she said, sorry. Aha! Oh, see, I am. So is this part of the main story quest? Okay, because I'm looking at it. Okay, talk to father, meet up with the courser. So I, okay. Get password for code defender. Okay, I'll try that. Hold up. Shocker, Abby's being paranoid, and I'm going to check to make sure I'm actually recording. Ha ha ha. All right, I'm being paranoid, and I need to stop. So I, oh, Jesus. Suck my dick. Okay, sorry. I apologize too much. Folder. It'd be nice if we could actually read some of the stuff in here. Okay, so it looks like I can head up here. Yes. Yes. Oh, God. Can you make it? Can you do it? I believe in you. No? Okay. Okay, I know that there is... Jesus! Aha! Uh -huh. Dude! You almost killed yourself. Alright, let's open up the door. Alright. Hey, I didn't get copy claimed for the last episode, so... Maybe... Yeah. I'm like one-tenth of the way from being able to be monetized, which... That'd be fantastic. So yeah, if you like my content... I don't know why you would, but if you like my content, um, please... Share. Latest patch notes. Isotype containment. Okay. Emergency override. Oh, yay. Security breach. Yeah, okay. Sign in. Clean room. Access locked. Okay. Internal mail relay. Oh, deleted. What's under deleted? About the new dosing pattern. Sign in there. Okay, yada, 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 yada. Mandatory overtime isotope containment. Yeah, you can pause. I've never been diagnosed with anything, but I'm like 90% sure I'm dyslexic. I have no problem like reading on my own time, but stuff like this, like reading out loud, I should probably get that checked out. <laughs> All right, uh, completed, optional, find another way to escape the laboratory. Internal mail relay, password request archive, latest patch notes. So I. What am I supposed to do? Okay, let me check the... Okay. Get password for Code Defender. Okay, so I need to look through the password things. Okay. Okay. Bo-bo-bo-bo. There we go. Vernon is an idiot. Okay. Hey, dude, you just, you just chillin'? Okay. All right, well, I'm ready to go. Let's get out of here. Ooh, I like this. Oh, right, right, right. Hi. 
Oh shit. Hi, hi. Well, they tried. I guess you could call that trying. Ha ha ha. Sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, sorry. I'm really uh, letting my Canadian side show here. Let's get going. Oh, Jesus. Hi. Suck it. Thank you. Ooh, can I get up there? Forget the quest, I want to see what's up there. Procrastination. Uh, okay. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Uh, what the hell am I doing? Ooh, there's ammo. Novice. Psh. Be nice if I could remember. God damn it. I've been playing, uh... Skyrim on the Switch recently, and it's actually not that bad. That's... I might get my gamer card revoked for saying that, but Skyrim on the Switch isn't that bad. I actually like it. Um, Alright, the Switch is actually pretty convenient for me because I travel a lot, so I can actually, like, bring... Oh, jeez. Hi. Let's just... Ha. Your day. Sorry. What do you have? Is there a flashlight? No. Okay. Director's terminal. Hell yeah. Permanently inflict plus two limb damage. Oh, hell yeah. Be nice if I could see. What's the... Oh, you hold tab. Okay. There is another room over the... Oh, that's the... Oh! Okay, okay. What's clean room? All systems normal. Personal logs, internal mail relay. Miss out reconfident. Deleted mail. You bastard. What's going on in there? You can't keep us locked in here. What are you doing? What you're doing is illegal. I need to get home to my kids. Can't call out of the lab. Oh, jeez. You let them all die? Out about. Shit. Okay, never mind. Ooh, what's this? Aluminum canister. Okay. I need to just actually focus. While they can be easily be mistaken for zombies, feral ghouls are actually horribly irradiated humans whose brains have rotted away, causing madness. See, this is what I mean by dyslexic. Like, I can't. Maybe I'm speaking out of turn here, and maybe that's just a normal thing. Which I don't want to, like, diminish anyone or belittle. Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna... Okay, you know what? I'm going to just, um... Fast travel, because I can't be fucked with trivial traveling on the ground. Oh, also... I almost spilled ginger ale on my laptop. Cheers. But I spilled it on my pants, so that counts for something. Shit. <laughs> okay. I can't ask people to keep it secret any longer. The rumor is true. 
One of our agents has made it inside the Institute. Is this what Tinker Tom was working on? Yes, Tom's work is related. But the device and the assembly was the Wanderer's doing. After the device was assembled, she made it inside the Institute and then back out. Where is the Institute? We're not sure exactly. Best guess is that it's somewhere under the old CIT. But they've been using a teleportation device to get in and out, so it could be anywhere. What did she find out? I know you all have questions, but I've said everything I'm going to. But know this, the ops you're planning and running now are the most important of our lives. Okay. We have a chance at rescuing more synths than we ever dreamed of. So get it done. Excellent work. On our side, we've gone through your report. It was extraordinary. So many pieces of the puzzle clicked into place. Our final analysis indicates the Institute is far more formidable than we ever feared or imagined. If we stage a mass breakout, Patriot's 13 synths will undoubtedly be the last we ever save. Instead, we use this one chance to rescue all the synths. Every last one of them. Okay. That's a bold plan. I'm still we wearing can't the... waste this opportunity. The Institute will never let their slaves go without a fight. Okay. So the heart of our problem is manpower. Even if we call in all our agents, and we will, we won't be able to hold our own against the Institute for long. Talk with C-114. If the synths down there want freedom, they must fight and risk their lives to earn it. Um... Z1 was the one down in the Institute, right? Um, Even with synth allies, is that enough to fight the Institute? The synths greatly outnumber the scientists. If enough of them rebel, the chaos would be unprecedented. Then we use that turmoil to evacuate everyone we can. It will work, because it must. As much as we owe Patriot, we can't be certain how committed he is. If he learns we're willing to kill to free synths, he may not have the stomach for it. So get what you need from him and then cut him loose. Good luck. We're all with you. All right. Tom wants you for something. Tinker Tom? He's kind of cool. Where is he? You really want the freedom, Trey. Hi. Excuse Find me. Yourself. Get the fuck up. Yeah, take your time. Yeah, just really rub it in my Dez face. Dez has given me clearance to set up my atmospheric sensors. Yep. Finally, I can prove that the Institute is terraforming the Commonwealth. Eat that, Carrington. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> Why would the Institute terraform the Commonwealth? It goes back to the Big War. Who set off the first Avon? The Institute did. They started the whole war to kill everyone except their own diabolical scientists. Sorry, we don't stand chapped lips in this house. I can't stand chapped lips. It's so dry. <laughs> I like how we went through the whole gambit of different weathers. Like, the beginning of this series, it was like so hot I could barely breathe in this room. Uh... And now it's like so cold and dry. But what's that have to do with terraforming? Everything, man. You see, humanity didn't kick the bucket like they planned. We're still hanging on. So first step? Artificial people come to infiltrate, spy, and salvage the metric tons of gizmos they need. And once they get all the parts they need, whammo! The big atmospheric converter inside Blake Tower starts spewing poison into the stratosphere to kill every last one of us. You sound like a Karen. <laughs> uh, give me details. Give me details. So my sensor, I call him Mila, needs to be up high, real high. Dez forced me to put some cameras and, you know, other low-tech surveillance crap on it to watch the Freedom Trail. Chuck that stuff if you need to. Like, you know, who couldn't spoof a conventional camera, right? We need cameras watching the trail? Look, I engineered the trail markers and code phrase myself. So anybody comes looking for us, whammo, spotted a mile away. Sure, the cameras could add a little insurance, but discovering the truth about the Institute's real plan is way more important. I got the perfect spot picked out. Set Mila up and let the juicy data pour in. Ooh. How does this weigh nothing? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. All right. You from one of those vaults? You got too many teeth to be a scaver. 
Any news from the Institute? Mm. Father's my son. I still can't believe the Institute's father is my son. I cannot imagine what that's like. But remember, under your son's watch, the Institute has committed many atrocities. Yeah. If he learned you were trying to free Synths, he could do something drastic. As callous as this sounds, this connection to father is something you can use to maintain your cover and buy time for Z1. Yeah, you're right. I hope to God the Institute doesn't fight. Okay, let me just change out of this suit. Actually, should I change... Pearl's main outfit? Kellogg's, we've been, we've been wearing uh, Kellogg's outfit. Uh, should I just wear... I don't want to wear the jumpsuit. Yeah, let's just go with Kellogg's outfit. It suits her. Find us here. Yeah. It's not soon. I like how we just raided his corpse. <laughs> okay, Bobby Pin. I need drugs. I'm just gonna hi. I'm just gonna take your shit. Come on, drop oh yeah, hey dude, you want to trade? Hey, yeah. Your signal interceptor actually Wait, worked. come here. I want to trade. I really don't know what to say. Check the stash. All right. No cola, road leather, stem pack, tricorder hat. Um, let's give you. <laughs> Would you like a aluminum can? Ash maker, that's freaking crazy. Um Bottle cap mine. You like jet, right? And I don't want to give you jet if you're an addict. Has that suit hardened sniper? I don't really need a sniper rifle. Hmm. Let's give you that. Um, okay. Okay, I'm still carrying too much now. So what? Okay. Hmm. Uh, what do I not need? Best in slacks. What does the red dress look like? Uh, let's wear that. And then let's drop that. And let's drop that. Right? What is the yellow trend? Sometimes the direct yeah. approach isn't the best to take. <laughs> okay. Up there? Assume you're being watched. Always. All right, all right, let's go. Ah, uh, no. Can I fast travel in and out of the... I can't remember. I'm gonna assume, yeah. And just go for it. You have not discovered this location yet. Okay. Don't I need to go back inside the Institute? For the main story quest. Cannot fast travel. But I can fast travel from in there. Railroad. That's the name of it. Good lord. Okay. I thought I had to burp. This is why I have no friends. Adhesive is rare and used to create nearly every mod. Well, that's great. Thanks, Bethesda. Three levels of approval. You believe that? Three! Hi. Father's a great man. You must be very proud. 
I don't know if proud is the exact word I'd use. Can I? Nope. Okay. Let's, oh, yeah, talk to you. Z1? We must speak quickly. We cannot risk being discovered. I have made arrangements. I can get the 13 we discussed into position. But, tell me, do you think Mr. Benet's plan will work? You haven't second thoughts? I'd risk anything for my people. It's just that Mr. Benet is many things. But he isn't always the most practical. And this plan is very risky. It's flawed. The plan's busted. We only get one chance at a mass breakout. If you fight with us, we rescue everyone instead. And I thought Mr. Benet's plan was too ambitious. <laughs> of course, I'd fight for my freedom. And I know of a few others that might as well. But enough to face all the guards? Perhaps... If we stand up openly to the scientists, more of my people would join us. Yes. Even Did if I most make a don't mistake? join the fight, certainly there are many others who have been waiting their whole lives for this. But we should be prepared for some of the sins to fight against us. We need an army, not a few stragglers. Yeah. Perhaps my stragglers will be the seed from which a true rebellion grows. Besides, we have no other option. The more people I involve, the greater the chance the SRB will discover us. I admire Mr. Beignet a great deal. We can't tell him about this plan. It's his people we'll be fighting. I will talk to my friends. Meet me here tomorrow. If I don't make our appointment, assume the worst. I feel like I've made a horrible mistake just now. Let's go. You get me what we talked about, and I'm in business. Liam, I got you your username and password. You railroad guys really deliver, you know? Hooking that agent tech up to the modern terminals is going to be seriously time-consuming. Even with that password. So hand it over and I'll get started. This is a... delicate operation. Are you okay if we have to use violence? Why do you ask? Damn it. There are stories about the railroad that you're extremists. If I get even a hint that you're planning on hurting people, I'll pull the plug myself. Mm -hmm. Would it be possible to rescue more synths? Those 13 synths are the only ones we're sure we can trust. If we push our luck and get the wrong synth involved, the whole thing could unravel. Yeah. Fine. Here you go. Great. Listen, I need a favor. Z-114 is working the atrium again. Can you give him an update? It's safer if you do it. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, dude. I don't... I feel like I made a massive mistake. Z-1? I look forward to assisting you further. I look forward to assisting you further. Oh, God. Did I fuck it all up? I think I, I think, I think I fucked it all up. Great. Liam. That project you helped with, it's coming along. You understand, right? Well, shit. Okay. Well, I'm gonna... Can I get actual good food? Hello, ma'am. Welcome to the commissary. What can I get for you? What have you got? I can offer a range of nutritious and great tasting food supplements. Food Supplement 7 is very popular for its spicy flavor. And Food Supplement 91 is our newest offering. I've got a few minutes to browse. Institute Bottled Water Institute Food Packet Purified Water. I don't trust it. I don't trust the Institute. I'm just going to say it now. Fuck my kid, I guess. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, I'm gonna go talk to Father Sean. Hello? Is 
This place is so cool. So is there like a place I can stay? Because... Alright. Hello. The Institute's a big place. It might take a while to learn where everything is. Sorry. I can't express how truly humbling it is to stand in your presence. Hmm. Undamaged Cigarettes Institute lab coat. Well, what's this? Advanced system notes, all right. I think he's actually lost his mind. I can't believe he really expects me to do this. I've always been on board with the Gen 3 program. It makes sense, but this? Nothing good can come from this. How am I supposed to explain to my staff that Sean wants a child synth for no immediately apparent valid line of research? And to base the physical features off records of his own childhood? It defies all logic. No, I can't do this. I won't. So why does he need the child synth? That's my question. Dr. Lee? Um. Tell me about the people in your division. I'm not sure what there is to say. Dr. Watson is the Specialist Project's lead scientist. He's, um, how to put it, uh, very organized and precise. <laughs> Dr. Ormond is one of the youngest scientists in the Institute, and she's something of a prodigy when it comes to physics. Can I give you a progress report? Dr. Lee? I'd like a progress report on your division, if you don't mind. Taking your new appointment in stride, I see. Very well. We've shifted resources off of other projects, like the Child Synth, to focus on Phase 3. I'm hoping that the above-ground efforts are successful. I understand those depend heavily on you. Phase 3, what is... Hmm. This place is really cool. I just don't trust it. The latest synth generation is just amazing. Those guys in robotics are working miracles. Oh, you're the... okay. So are there different cards I can listen to? Look at this! It's a full-ass shower. Oh, I can take that? I don't mind if I do. Hi. Okay, I'm just keeping my eye out for any more of those reports. Hmm. Alright. Always be vigilant. We have many enemies. Okay. Okay, now it's on the other It's probably over here. Yeah. I thought all the surface people look like monsters. But you seem pretty normal. Hey, fuck you, Alice. Yes, I just said fuck off to a child. Don't judge. Well, where do I sleep? This is racist. I don't know if that justifies a choice. Mm. Oh yeah, I was editing my previous episode and I noticed... Where is... Father. Um... Hmm. I'm so lost. Be nice if there was like a map of the inside of the institute because I have no idea where the hell anything is. Okay, so let's try to figure this out. Oh, is Sean's lab- I wish you could have known father as we have. Oh, is it above the medical? My Father being... is more than just our leader. He is our creator. Hey, Al Satan. Is he being like a... What am I saying? Yeah, here we go. Can I open the door? No use. Hmm. All right. Okay, 
Yeah, well, it's probably a good thing that I'm getting acquainted with the area, because I got a feeling we're gonna fuck shit up in here eventually. Look at all this stuff. It's so cool. Okay. Hello. You should get going. There's no time to waste. All right. Oh, I see what we're doing. Okay, so it's above the medical area. That's where Sean's place is. Okay. Okay. So let's, uh... Okay, so we need to go to meet up with the courser. Underground gives you one a day. Alright, so if we go to the map... So that looks like the next place in the story. Alright, so let's go. We gotta travel by foot, because we're not... We have not discovered this location yet. Oh, yay, National Guard training yard. Fast travel. Oh, weren't there a lot of robots there? No, I gotta stop being a little bitch and actually just fight. <laughs> If you can hear me drinking, I'm so sorry. Okay, hey dude. Alright, so we need to get over here. Alright, you have not discovered... How do I remove? Okay. I'm gonna stay hidden from robots. Thank you very much. Yes, we're traveling alone at night. This is a great idea. going. Oh, I see the... Let's check out this place first. Is this a trap? Am I gonna get, like... Am I shooting myself in the foot here? Okay, let's go. Oh, shit. Dude! Battle! find it, you bastard. <gasps> well, shit. There's a shootout going on over there. So maybe let's go in the other direction. Let's maybe not. You know? Like, okay, so there's a bridge over there. So if I head in the same direction I'm already going, I can loop around there. Oh, god damn. Um... Hmm. That's a super mutant I can see over there. Or a dude in a suit. So you know what? I'm just gonna... That sounds like... <laughs> that sounds like a you problem. And I'm just gonna... That's literally the only quote from Ben Shapiro I'll ever use. Fucking garbage man. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the Museum of Witchcraft. That sounds like my kind of place. I want to go there at some point. There's... Is that someone who can help me? Hello? Abraham. Hey, you! 
Oh, sorry. Thought you might be one of those forged maniacs, but you don't have the burns. A group of them took over the old ironworks, and they'll shoot you just as soon as look at you. Who are the forged? Bunch of trumped up raiders, obsessed with fire and metal. That bastard son of mine, Jake, snuck out in the middle of the night to join him. He grabbed my granddad's old sword. <gasps> It's the closest thing I've got to an alien. A sword? I don't guess you'd be crazy enough to try and get it back for me. I've got caps, if that's what you want. What about your son, Jake? You don't care what happens to him? I didn't raise my boys to be raiders. As far as I'm concerned, he's dead to me. Jesus. Can you tell me anything else about the Forged? They're led by a guy named Slag. Came in from outside of the Commonwealth a few months back and started recruiting. Mostly they've just been strong armored folks. But with how quick they've been growing, it's just a matter of time till the raids get worse. Um, a sword, yeah. What kind of a sword am I looking for? One of them old pre war swords, rigged up to shoot flames from the blade. Probably why Jake thought they'd let him join. What? So, what do you say? I'll find it. You're doing me a big favor, and I'll make it up to you as best as I can. A uh, nice place you got here. Oh, I can sleep here? Yeah, let's get a couple hours of sleep. Why not? Alright. Let us... Am I in the right place? Yeah! So that's the bridge. We're on a beach. I tried over Christmas break playing Life is Strange. But because I wanted to do like I've been wanting to try out doing like a casual replay series where I replay some of my favorite games. Oh, fuck it, I'm just gonna swim through here. Um but I think it's just the location that the game takes place in. It takes place on the Oregon coast. And a lot of you guys don't know this, but um, back in October, my grandmother passed unexpectedly. And the Oregon coast was one of her favorite places. And it, I don't know, playing a game that takes place in one of her favorite places in the world was just way too, way too soon, you know? So I'll probably record it this summer, because I do want to replay Life is Strange at some point. I kind of want to do the whole series. Like, Tell Me Why, and Life is Strange Season 2, and all the other Don't Nod games. Who's Mr. Handy? Hello? There's someone over there, so I'm gonna... Let's only go where we need to go, right? You know? But yeah, that's just me explaining what happened. I will definitely be playing the Don't Nod games at some point. I kind of also want to do, like, a Tomb Raider marathon. Who knows? I might just have, like, an entire... That's cool. <laughs> I might just spend the entire summer recording gameplays, who knows. Are these raiders? What the fuck was that? It's on yourself. Don't you it? Yeah. Missile launcher. I do not have enough room to carry that, but Okay. Bottle cap, I'm gonna take your bottle caps and your ammo because girl gotta fend for herself. <gasps> I'm all out of bitch boy ammo! Oh no! Weapons, alright, alright. Sorry bitch boy, you're being um, retired for the moment. Let's use the... hmm.
I really have no ammo left. I should. Oh, pipe pistol. All right. Oh, wait. Do I have a pipe auto pistol? Yeah, okay. That works better. I forgot you have to actually save ammo in this game. Okay. Is there anything I can get from here? Nope. But yeah. I think going... Can I even call it... That's a robot. Can I even go... Or... Bleh. If I can even call it going viral on TikTok. Which is like something I never expected to happen. It was definitely like... Motivating. To try to do more creative work. And I think once you hit a certain number of followers, it just kind of hits you like, Oh god, I'm an influencer. I hate using that word, but it's true. I've got a following, and I get comments saying people like what I say, and they like what I do. And Are you going to attack me? Oh no, you guys are with the Institute, right? So... Hancock? Okay. Yeah, anyway, like... Like it or not, people take into account what I say now. Like, people... Listen to me? If that even makes any sense? So, I just... I guess I gotta be more careful with what I say and do. Hey, can I talk to you? I'm gonna make this as painful as possible. idea what's going on, dude. Someone want to explain to me what's happening? I guess we're just going to sit here and watch? Bro. What am I supposed to do? Meet up with the courser. Oh, so am I supposed to... Regret this. Okay. <laughs> I really don't know what's going on, but okay. I guess we're fighting now. Um. Do I have any... Okay, how do I throw the Molotovs? Never mind, I don't have any Molotovs. Engaging target. Uh. Uh. One more. Uh. Uh. Shit. Yeah, 
I need to heal. Hi. Where the hell is everybody? Who are you going after, dude? Are there... Are these helicopter bitches gonna come get... Well, fuck. Alright then. Hey, you. You must be the courser I'm supposed to meet. Yes, ma'am. Designation X688. I've already neutralized the perimeter guard. Just give the word, and we can start the assault on the main flotilla. I ain't exactly keen on having an institute lapdog stealing all our fun. What do we know about this synth, Gabriel? Designation B-592 is holed up in the shack on top of the upended cargo ship. He's probably got his best fighters with him, so we should plan on heavy resistance. So, are you ready to go in? I can handle these raiders on my own. I have no reason to doubt that, ma'am, but I have my orders. If you take on that synth, I'll be right there with you. <clears throat> Following your lead. Hey. Hmm? Hey, Hancock. You look like you could use a little pick-me-up. All right, um... Your thoughts? Leave it to the Institute to ruin putting down some raiders by sending their lapdog along for the ride. That's all. Fine by me. Yeah, I don't... Retrieve Abraham Finch. Okay. Set up MLA. Let's not. You know what? Fuck it. Do I need to... Yeah, I need to heal anyway. And What am I carrying? Okay. So why don't I... Okay, now I'm... There we go. I should probably go store something. <clears throat> Ammo levels are good. Should I just... No. I don't know what to do! My orders are to help you capture the synth in the Britalia. I'll be waiting there when you're ready. What if I just kill him? I could do it so easily. I don't know what to do. Why don't we just ditch him and set up the thing? Yeah, the thing. Country crossing. Set up MLA. All right. Oh, and I need to go back to the institute, right? Because I need to help the dude. Free the sense. <laughs> The entire story, it's probably, like, I'm not going to fully understand the story of this game till like, five months after I finish playing it. I'm just so slow with picking up on main storylines. Like, even Skyrim, it took me, like, a year after I played it to finally understand what the hell was going on. Anything worth taking. Grab that. Okay, fuck it. Dude. Alright, I'm being a bitch. Off the rain. Cover me, dude. 
Can you tell I suck at video games? Run, 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 dude. Come on. Where'd he go? And I died. And zero deaths. I suck so bad at this. I don't even know. I guess I really had something going there when I said I have... What is it? Five followers? Libertalia. Oh, that's the place. I don't want to hurt you. Dude's just trying to live in peace. So let's... Boston Bugle Building. So let's go there and then just run across the street. Screw it. No, wait. Are there the super mutants on the bridge? If I remember right, there were some super mutants. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, you want to see something really chaotic? This is my mouse pad. Yes, that's a picture of me when I was three. That's my great-grandmother's. Because, yes, I lived to see my great-grandmother. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay, so let's go this way. Nice. Okay. Yo. There we go. Hello. They're cuddling. Intervention note. Would that be under miscellaneous? Oh yeah, it's alphabetical. Intervention note. Hank, you've been eating a lot of that food paste we got from Suffolk School. It's affecting you like in a really bad way, man. You've been flying off the handle at every little thing. Always have this crazy look in your eyes. Heck, heck, during the last farm raid, you even shot up a couple of runners. We don't kill them when they're fleeing, man. We're better than that. I know the stuff tastes great, but is it really worth all this? I mean, I had to write this down because I'm scared you would shoot me in the face if I said anything in person. We're your friends. And that's what happens when you have too much paste, I guess. What's that? This is what happens when I forget my giant armor suit. Okay. Okay. There's a bridge over there. I feel very exposed right now. Yes, we are sneaking around like a little bitch. Thanks for asking. Oh, God, one of you fuckers. Well, I'm just gonna... Dude can't see me, right? So I'm just gonna... Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. No, no. <laughs> I just slow... Oh, Hancock! It's in... Okay, you okay? The hell did they go? Come on. Cut you. Shit. Come on. Try. Hey, 
Hmm? Come on, let's head over there. Bingo. Go there. Sure. Okay. Well, I'm gonna jump down. Can you make it, dude? Dude, where'd you go? All right, well, that's a you problem. Are dead. Where'd you go? Oh, Bethesda, glitchy ass motherfucker. Oh, there you are. Now. Hey! Psst. What you got? I didn't say you Over were there. finished. Well, you're finished if I say so. Get into position. Come on! Bruh! I feel like I have to fucking babysit this dude. <laughs> oh, I love these. Oh, shit. Okay, let's do the sneaky sneaky. Here. Can you stealth kill people in this game? Okay. Box. Over here. Fine, let's go after the raiders. Fuck it. Jeez, yeah. why is my mouth so slow? Okay, 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 okay. Uh. Oh, fuck. Why did I do that? I meant to take a skin pack. Oh, great. How do I? hell this game is hard oh. fuck it we're using the institute pistol fuck do I have any more ammo, or am I just dead? Uh. Pipe pistol? Okay. Whoa. Did you just kill yourself? What a fucking idiot. Okay, we're... Now we sing. Awful brave, but real. Don't run out of bullets at some point. Yeah. Okay, I need a stim pack right now. Okay, fuck it. Is there literally only one dude? Yeah. Two dudes. Three dudes. Well, fuck it. Done in by the best. Hey. Lucky. There. Move out. Over here. Move here. 
Over there. I'm so close. Here. Oh no. Oh, I really do gotta take these bitches out. Okay. Dude, unless you are dead. Okay, we gotta go up there. You've done this hundreds of times. You think you'll be times. Alright, bitch, I'm gonna kill you. Yikes, that's not a good look for you. Okay, one oh, hi. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, fuck it. <gasps> They're gonna carry you out of here. Fuck. The camera angles are so bad. Every single- that's the one problem with Bethesda games. I mean, there's a lot of problems with Bethesda games. The problem is, they have really good stories, but the controls are fucking shite. Okay, let's just head over there. Hey dude, we're gonna have a little talk, you and I. You know, I'm done. I'm done. I'm just done, you know? You know, dude, do you ever have those days where you just want to shoot some fucking kneecaps in? So I'm just gonna take, um... Hmm. I have nothing left with ammo. Shock baton. Switchblade, sledgehammer. Personal, just you or me. There's one more. I can't tell where the shot. Oh, he's at the top of that building. Is that where I'm supposed to? Hey, I got something. What? I see. Oh, I see. I see, said the blind man to his Hi, dude. We're going to pay you a little visit. How about that? Raider survivalist. Well. Hey, Hancock. Dude. All right, you. Awful brave, but real stupid. Hey, get into position. Fuck. Go! Bingo. Come on. It's like hurting fucking cattle. One record. Done. Dude. Okay, I guess I'm on my own then. <laughs> Shit. down fuck <sighs> you know what we're just gonna take uh do i have machete still Yep, and I'm gonna take, for aid, I need some. And that, and I'm gonna take some. Just 
take this dude out. I don't have any more ammo. <laughs> oh, fuck. Now I'm addicted to jet. Well, that's fun. Ah. Carrying too much to run, shit. Thank you! Whoa! Ha ha! Do I have a dictal? Okay, what am I carrying that's too much? Oh, is it the, the weapons? Yeah, probably. I mean, I play for a bit longer. This is, I'm having too much fun. <laughs> Double barrel shotgun, short and a rifle. I don't really like the sledgehammer, so bye bye Oh, it's heavy. Okay. I keep checking the light next to my camera to make sure it's still recording. Because I tried to record Among Us yesterday with my friends. So, seems you know how to hold your own. I'd had my doubts when we first hit the road. Thanks. You're not so bad yourself. I never get many complaints. It's just real rare these days. Find someone who's not willing to take things the way they're handed to them. Too many good folks not willing to get their hands dirty. And too many assholes taking advantage of it. Look at what happened to Diamond City. Before McDonough took over, it was a half-decent place to live. A little stricter than I usually go for, but not terrible. I thought he and I had a pretty happy childhood. But then he decides he's gonna try and get elected with his anti-ghoul crusade. Mankind for McDonough. Before you know it. You got families with kids lining up to drag folks they call neighbor out of their homes and throw them to the ruins. Aye. You and McDonough knew each other as kids? Oh, yeah. Guy's my brother. Oh, shit. Grew up together in a little shack on the waterfront. Guy was the standard big brother. Entitled. Punchy. Liked to shove rotten potatoes down my shirt and slap my back. Ugh. But I never thought he'd be capable of something like what they did to those ghouls. Why did McDonough campaign against the ghouls? Because he thought he could win. There'd always been a pretty clear divide between the folks living in the stands and those down on the field. I'm not convinced they didn't do it just to improve their view. I remember storming into his office above the stands after the inauguration speech. He was just standing there, staring out the window, watching as the city turned on the ghouls. He didn't even look at me. He just said, I did it, John. It's finally mine. Oh, Should have killed him right there, but I don't think it would have changed anything. Instead, I pleaded with him, begged him to call it off. He said he couldn't. He had nothing against the ghouls. He was just carrying out the will of the people. And he couldn't betray the voters. Corrupt and politician. Smiled, Sound familiar? That hideous fucking mile-long smile. Never smiled like that when we were kids. I didn't even recognize him. Hmm. He murdered those ghouls. Him and that whole damn city. I still wasn't a ghoul at this point, so I didn't have to leave. But I couldn't bring myself to stay in that cesspool after that. I'd been sneaking off the good neighbor for years to get decent cams, so I knew the safe routes. I managed to track down a couple of the families, lead them there, but most couldn't get used to the good neighbor lifestyle. I brought them food for a couple of weeks, but after a while, they just disappeared. Hmm. Folks in Diamond City signed their death warrants. 
And all the good people were willing to just sit by and watch. I felt like I was the only one who saw how screwed up things truly were. We couldn't just pretend things were fine. Still feel that way. Oh, I did. Until I met you. I know I run my mouth, but having someone who sees the world for what it is, and is willing to do something about it, it's meant a lot to me. I feel damn lucky to have you as a friend. Should we? Should we? Yeah, fuck it. And that's what we are? Friends? Well, now that you mention it, I have been having slightly more impure thoughts than usual. Maybe we'll get to uh, act on those. <laughs> but I guess we should probably head out, huh? After you. Fuck it. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, so what do we have next? We got to go to the railroad. Yes, I'm simping over a fictional character. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> and you don't. Let me live, goddammit. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's focus. Uh, next. You from one of those vaults? You got too many teeth Neil to be is transmitting loads of information. At first glance, the atmosphere appears normal, but I'm going to dive deep into the data. Okay. I already lined up another place to stash one of my babies, if you got the time. Yay, another one. All right, well, I gotta go back to the Institute, actually. And then, how much time do I have? I think I'll end it off there. I've been trying to do an hour for each episode. Sometimes I go over, sometimes under i want to be more consistent though with like a schedule and uploading and stuff like that but forgive me i'm a full-time university all these courses roaming the halls the institute's a big place it might take a while to learn where everything is all right well with that being said i'm gonna end that episode there thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next week I can't believe I fucking flirted with him. Okay. We did it. I don't. Okay. Um, goodbye. <laughs>